Okay. Welcome everyone to tonight's event. Um, it's beautiful to see all your faces on here tonight. Um, my name is Candy Walters and I've been on a mission of inspiring healthy living around the world with the Juice Plus company for over three years. Um, I feel really honoured and super excited to be hosting this call tonight around the six D's of hardship. Now, if you're not sure about what those six D's are, we're talking disease, we're talking debt, divorce, disability, disasters, and death. Now, I know it sounds a little bit like... <gasps> but there's amazing, inspiring stories coming your way tonight. Um, the six days of hardship is something that I truly um, I understand and I have personally experienced these, um, but what's even worse is I've also watched some of the people that I love and care about most go through the same things um, at different occasions throughout life. Um, and this is why I am so passionate about our mission, um, as I believe that we truly have the answer to two of the biggest issues that we're facing um, in the world these days, which is health and wealth. Um, so a little bit of background about myself. Um, I'm a, a health and lifestyle coach here on the Gold Coast. Um, and the reason I actually got into health and fitness was after watching my father go from this strong, independent, self-employed businessman to a cripple in under one month. And he was only in his 40s. And he was actually diagnosed with thyroid cancer. And after the operation, um, what happened and what set in was a very aggressive form of rheumatoid arthritis, which saw him crippled. His hands were crippled and he couldn't even wipe his own bottom. So to see this strong man turn to where he went and see the dark place that he got to was absolutely heartbreaking. Um, not only did that happen to him physically, but his businesses, we lost the business, you know, um, not being able to work. We had to move house to be closer to specialists uh, to get the help that he needed. Um, and he did regain his health and he did get back into business. And sadly, he chose the wrong business partner. And that was a disaster because my family lost their home. They lost their business and they lost their financial security that they had worked their butts off and given up special time with my brother and I to, to develop so they could have a lovely life. Um, sadly, this then put so much pressure on their relationship that they did eventually divorce um, and even more disease kicked in for both of them, both my mother and father. Now, luckily, this is not a sad story because uh, they're very lucky. They have a very stubborn young daughter who doesn't take no for an answer. And they are, you know, with the, the help of a massive community that I'm linked in with, they have got their health back on track. And my husband's laughing going, she is stubborn. No, um, it's more about the young. <laughs> but you know it's um, uh, but you know they are happily and healthily living their lives um, which you know I'm very lucky to be able to say that because sadly that is not always the case uh, for most people in this in this world so you know I, I want you to think about as we go through this call tonight is what is your plan B what is what if something happened what is your backup okay so who on this call tonight would agree with me that we've never been as sick, as tired, as stressed, or as broke as our lives are today for most people. Hands up. We all kind of are like, yeah, holla. It's true, right? And even if it wasn't, it's not our scenario now, we've been there. Okay, so this is why I jump out of bed every single day. And that's why I get so excited uh, because when I was introduced to this mission to Juice Plus the company, the product made absolute sense. It is whole food. Uh, it's a whole food product that just bridges a gap between what our bodies need every single day to thrive and to survive compared to what we're actually getting in every single day. Now, who agrees that there could be a massive gap of what our body actually needs? to what we're actually getting in every day. Hands up. Yeah, everyone's kind of like, yeah. And even when we're doing the best job that we possibly can, we still fall short, okay? And this is why I'm so passionate. It's, um, you know, the company have brought out this whole food product, but what they've done is it has, you know, 
it's they've made it affordable they've made it convenient to get 30 plus different plants in your body every single day um in a vegan capsule in a gummy for the kids in a superfood powder for the people working out or too busy to eat their lunch um so you know we, we talk about it's like the jetsons right um but they've made it so convenient so affordable and really really easy for us to bridge that gap um it's just pure brilliance um so what we have we have like a fruit and a veggie and a um uh, berries and and an Amigas, because now Amigas is we're really lacking in. Um, we also have superfood powders in chocolate and vanilla. And we also have the gummies, which always go too quickly because we eat ours straight away, um, in the fruit and veggies. What blew my mind, though, was they even backed it up by science with clinical research done by leading universities worldwide and many studies to back up the case, not just one to increase, you know, the heart, the heart um, and cardiovascular health or the immune system or the DNA protection. There's many backed out there. Um, and what totally got me was the fact that they've made it even more accessible for families to feed their kids for free from the ages of 14 to 18 in Australia and worldwide. So we're talking about a company that's been around for a long time, for 40 plus years, but a company with the biggest heart. Um, you know, they also understood the struggles that families and people were having and the struggles that they had, they might have of getting ahead financially. Um, you know, they, they therefore created a virtual office where people like myself could have our own independent franchises, um, where we could grow a business globally and have a massive impact on the health and wealth of people around us, but also around the world. Um, you know, and when I saw it, I was like, oh, I don't quite get it. I was a bit skeptical. But when I got to understand it, I, and I understood it was about me being a product of my product and me sharing it, not having to go and hunt people down and sell it because I just couldn't do that. That's not who I am. Um, it was all about sharing and just helping other people and teaching them how to do their business because everything was there. It's a franchise, the blueprints there, you know, so it really become um, a, a plan Z for us to now a plan A for us to live our most vibrant and healthy lives. And this is what I get so excited about because you don't have to be a health professional. You don't have to be an expert. You just have to be a product of a product and care enough to talk and connect with people in your community and globally. And social media has really changed it. But, you know, enough about, you know, what I have to say. Tonight is actually about hearing the story, the real vulnerable, raw stories of what this product and and business or this opportunity has done for so many who are on this call tonight. And some of it's absolutely inspiring. Some of it is just will blow your mind. So I'm going to hand over to my beautiful friend, Ronnie, um, to share your story, honey, of what your journey has been with this amazing company of spreading healthy living around the world. Thanks, Candy. And I love the teamwork from Hubby there. That's good teamwork. <laughs> um, so Juice Plus came into our lives in uh, December 2014. I was that really awesome customer that ordered on the 12th of December and then left it in my cupboard for the new year. Go me. Um, Cause I actually didn't realize what I had in my hands. Um, at that time, I'm going to keep the emotions in. I've managed to say it once without emotions. So our daughter actually lived with 150 brain seizures a day. Now what that meant for us and for her was a really, really hard life. We couldn't communicate with our daughter and we hadn't done for five years. It was, um, it was hard to see her go through that. Um, she couldn't swim in a pool, play in a park, ride a bike, do any of those normal things that a, a seven-year-old would do. Um, keeping it really short, fast forwarding, um, actually on the 12th, so is that Wednesday or Thursday, she will be two years completely seizure free. Two whole years of, this is where the tears start, um, having the privilege of getting to know our daughter after so many years of not knowing who she is. Um, she is the most amazing little soul we've ever met in our lives. She's such a loving little girl and um, we'll be forever thankful that Juice Plus found us because it was only a few days before it landed in my inbox that hubby and I were at wit's end. 
she was on so many medications from the doctors and she'd have side effects like losing her bowels all the time, not being able to sleep at night. Couldn't hold a conversation. As I said, we couldn't communicate with her. And now she just won't shut up. <laughs> but it's really good. Um, then I naturally started sharing it with people. Now, I was a stay-at-home mum, had been for three years, um, went from this big corporate world to a stay-at-home mum, and I actually lost myself in that time. And when somebody gave me this business opportunity, because they're like, you're doing what we do anyway, you're literally just sharing from your heart with people you care about. I'm like, mm -mm. I, I see all these entrepreneur mamas, I ain't one of them. I can't do that. I never saw myself doing that. So for me, the anxiety went through the roof. I was like, mm -mm, can't do it. But I was naturally sharing from the heart. And when I thought about it, myself and my husband actually um, created a business, a company around his trade. Um, but he was still struggling. He was, he was working 12 hour days, seven days a week to try and make ends meet. So I, I got to the point where I wouldn't even ask him for $5 for a coffee to catch up with the girls. Now, as a stay at home mum, then I, then I literally stayed at home. It was, I had anxiety to even check my mailbox um, because I was fearful of any bills that were coming. Um, so when they said, you know what, just what's an extra $400? I'm like, well, actually, I could buy that top. I could go out for lunch dates and I could, I could reconnect with all my friends. And that's where it started. Um, so I, I did say yes. I threw myself in the deep end, but I had the support of so many amazing women. Um, and that's when Bronnie started coming out of her shell. Um, now I've had the privilege of impacting over 500 families, um, myself and our, and our team. And, you know, the impact, the emotional revenue of the impact that you get to make in the lives of others is just second to none. You can't replace that with anything. Um, and now I, you know, like I can bridge that gap as being a company, it's got to shut down for four weeks over Christmas. I can bridge that financial gap with my husband because the grass isn't greener on the other side. When you own a traditional business, there's overheads, there's so many things that you've got to keep, keep going and keep running and keep paying when you, when you shut the doors. Um, and it's a lot of stress <laughs> when you guys are all sleeping, I'm still doing invoices at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, um, so for us, it's, you know, for me, the impact success for me equals impact. Um, uh, but that money has definitely helped us It paid for our wedding, paid for Christmas holidays last year. And, you know, it's, it's just, um, it's given me my voice back. It's given me an identity. Um, and now I get to show up as me because these amazing women have given me my confidence. Oh, Bron, thank you so much. And, and um, you know, I've only known you through this business and seeing the growth who you have become to see your light shine again is just phenomenal. Other than all the other lives and your team and all the people that you've impacted is just phenomenal. Um, and I'm so proud of you, darling. And there's, this is just the beginning, which is really exciting. Um, and, you know, speaking of watching women step into their own, um, I'm going to flick over to Kylie to share your story because you, honey, I've only known you for a short while, um, just watching your growth and hearing your story, I think it's, it, it definitely needs to fall onto so many ears. So please share your story with us tonight, darling. All right. Thanks for having me, Candy, and hi, everyone. Um, my name's Kylie. So Juice Plus came into our lives about 12 months ago at a time where I had the severe mummy guilt. Um, my four-year-old boy had a selective eating disorder that we was, it was undiagnosed at that time. We didn't know what was going on but we had been battling with him for over three years to get him to eat. He just flat out refused from about 18 months to, to eat any meat, any veggies, any fruit. And um, as a mum, that's terrifying. Like, how are they going to grow? How are they going to, you know, thrive when they're not getting that essential nutrition? In? And I went to so many doctors who just kept saying, it's a phase, it's a phase. And, you know, three years down the track, it's not a phase. Like, there's something going on. Um, so anyway, I saw a post about the free kids choose containing 17 fruits and veggies. And it made me look at the Vita gummies that I was buying him at the supermarket. And it really, like, I thought I was doing something good for him. But in fact, I was filling him full of sugar and not much else. He was really dull. His eyes were sunken in. He just, he didn't look like a healthy four-year-old should. So I reached out, um, wasn't even interested in the product for myself at that time. I just wanted to help my little boy. Um, we gave him the capsules rather than the chews because I was just a bit scared that it was trying to introduce a new food that he wouldn't have. So. I was hiding his capsules in a Vegemite sandwich 
every morning because let's face it, Vegemite just kills the taste of everything anyway. So he had no idea and um, it was mum for the win on that one. So after about four to six weeks, we started to see his eyes were getting really clear and glassy. The whites weren't looking so yellow anymore. His, his whole face was just looking so bright and colourful. Um, daycare started to comment about his concentration. They just said his concentration's through the roof. He's so focused. He's a completely different child. What are you doing? And I just said, I'm just giving him basic nutrition. So a couple of months down the track, we decided to try him on the complete powders. Um, again, he thought he was having a chocolate shake. I was actually able to hide half an avocado in it each day, which made it nice and thick and creamy. He had no idea. He couldn't taste it. Um, when he did find out, he said, OK, Mum, now what can we do? What else can we hide in there? Which is really, really cool. So over time, he's actually started trying different things. Uh, we can now make veggie juices for him, which he now drinks quite happily. Um, he starts his day with his whole food powder, three, um, you know, his berries, fruits and veggies, and he's now also having omegas. So he's absolutely thriving at school. He just looks unbelievable. So... For me, Juice Plus will, will never go out of our lives because it's just changed us so much. Um, business side of things, I jumped on the business as soon as I heard about the products because it just made sense. I just thought, what if this can help my little boy and then what if I can tell other people and help them? So for me, it was a no-brainer. I was a stay-at-home mum and I was looking at going back to a traditional job this year, which for me was... With my oldest starting prep, I didn't want him having big long days at school and then straight into after school care and that just wasn't why I had children to begin with. So yeah, I jumped on the business and a year down the track, I'm absolutely loving it. The community of people is just amazing. I've met some great friends and yeah, the future's looking great for us. Oh, thank you, darling. And it's so wonderful to hear that your little man is, is doing so well. I remember, you know, you sending me photos of before and after and I was like, wow, okay, we need to hear your story. Um, because that is, you know, you talk about the mummy guilt and how many families are, are struggling with this and, you know, <coughs> the extra stress and pressure that puts on families um, with just the worry of trying to get your kids to eat fruits and veggies. It's, you know, and worrying about what they're, what's happening at school. So thank you so much, Han, and I know you're having a massive impact out there was just by sharing a story because it's so genuine and so real so um, I'm gonna hand over to Barbie next um, I haven't even met you in person yet Barb, but I know you're a bloody character and your story I've heard just on the grapevine and I said oh we need to hear this like we need to hear from this lady she is a bloody cannon um, so Barbie if you can just share with everyone your story honey that would be so so we would be so grateful well, first of all, thank you for having me, Candy. Um, I'm from Coffs Harbour. Okay, um, first of all, um, I'm epileptic. Um, my mum was an epileptic. Um, one of my childhood memories, she used to take me in the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne because I had the hair, lip and cleft palate. Um, she had a seizure between the train platform and the cement, hit her head, and I thought she was dead. Um, my dad had to save her. Unfortunately, between the seizures and cancer, she died at 36. So I'm an 11 year old shattered little girl. Um, fast tracking from there, I was involved in a really bad car accident in 1995 and had my first seizure. Never had a seizure before then, hit my head on the steering wheel and bang, out like a light. Absolutely shattered. Had MRIs, had CAT scans, had every test under the sun and they couldn't find a thing except scarring on the brain. Um, couldn't tell me why, couldn't tell me how. Um, they had no idea where it had come from. Um, from that, I just had seizure after seizure after seizure. Any medication just didn't work. I was on up to 10 tablets a day. Um, nothing worked. I had tests, sleep studies, and I'm still have, I've still had a couple recently and nothing has worked. Um, Fast tracking to 1990, um, I've had a perforated bowel on top of that. 
um, also a hysterectomy in 1992. Um, I also had a, um, I also was diagnosed with diverticulitis as well. Um, in 2012, my seizures, they disappeared. Like they just, as they vanished, like click of a finger, they were gone. And I thought, oh, okay. And I went and did my training for an assistant in nursing, my dream job. I actually got to do my dream job. It was like nursing. Wow. Got my dream job, went to work every day. I was pumped. I got to work with my clients, residents. I loved my job. Had a seizure at work, bang, down I went. There goes my job. I had no job, had no independence. Um, my husband was at home, couldn't walk because of his back. Um, I had nothing. It was like it was gone in an instant, back to four seat. Nothing for me to have four seizures a day. Um, fractured ankle, fractured wrist, uh, face planted, fractured nose. Um, so I moved to Coffs Harbour from Newcastle, got reassessed, still to this day, they're not under control. I don't get a, a warning or an aura, but um, I'm still on med medication. But the good thing is that I do, thanks to Juice Plus, I've been on the product now for two months, only two months. Um, and in that two months, I do have seizures, yes, but they're not as violent, they're not as severe. I come out of them so much better. I'm not as foggy and I'm not as tired. I do have a medical assistance puppy dog, which he licks my face to bring me around. But I do come out of them a lot better. I'm not foggy, I'm not hazy. Juice Plus does that. And it also has helped majorly with my diverticulitis. I was taking three sachets of Movicol a day, a day and having one attack of diverticulitis a fortnight because it just clogged up, food just doesn't digest properly. And it's along with Crohn's disease and microscopic colitis. And I haven't used Movicol in a month. I haven't been to the hospital for diverticulitis attack. That to me is amazing, absolutely mind blowing. I was introduced to the opportunity by my sister and I was a bit skeptical. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, sure, it's gonna help my seizures, come on. You're a bit full of it. <laughs> Come on. And I thought, no, nah, what can I lose? What can we lose? Like, I can't lose anything. Anything's better than what I'm going through now. I was sitting at home going, I'm going brain dead. Like, I'm not doing anything. I've got to be able to do something. And I thought, well, I can only give it a go. And I took the opportunity up. And yeah, I'm happy with what I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing something. Um, and yeah, that's my story. Oh, thank you so much, honey. And I know it's the first time ever sharing. So thank you so much for being brave and, and sharing so openly with us. Um, honey, you really touched on what we're all about tonight is you just never know. We think we're in control of our lives, but you just never know what's around the corner. So we have to be smart, right? We have to look after our bodies. We have to fuel it properly. And, you know, having that plan B is is, you know, what you've got now is phenomenal. You had that dream job and you lost it. Um, so thank you so much, hon. And I'm so glad that things are looking up for you and your husband, which is just phenomenal. Um, I'm going to hand over to this beautiful man right next to me. Um, he is um, it's actually your wedding anniversary today, even though it's been 13 years together. We, where we're also going to be, but on Zoom together. Um but I'm going to hand it over to this man um, to share his story, uh, his journey. Um, I will not cry, I promise. So take it away, Matthew. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for being on today, tonight. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, my story, um, I guess, isn't dissimilar to so many other stories out there, really. Um, even before I met Candy and Juice Plus came into our lives, um, I was a, I, I married quite young. I was married when I was 23. Um, had three young kids and life was going on great, bought a house, um, you know, life was, was fantastic. So, um, you know, and, and I worked on a farm that my family owned. So, you know, there wasn't that, that debt and all that sort of stuff that was in my life at that stage. So I didn't really know about it. Um, and fast forward a few years and um, all of a sudden, um, 
marriage woes and uh, divorce came into the scene and you know I was I was living on my own and away from my kids and it was absolutely devastating um, so I was under 30 and I was divorced and luckily for me I guess I got my shit together and decided to travel a bit uh, moved to a um, an island where I met this one um, thankfully uh, so, and she brought me around and, um, really helped me, um, just get my life back together and, and back into some sort of normality. So yeah, like she said, we've been together about 12 and a half years, but, um, a few years ago we come across Juice Plus and, um, Candy actually introduced it to me and I was probably one of the biggest skeptics as we probably all were and Candy's already said that. Um, but I decided to give it a go and it was, I, I kind of say sometimes it was more out of, um, you know, I'm, I'm, well, yeah, it was a bit of FOMO, but it was also, there was science behind it, you know, and, and I was introduced to that pretty quickly as well. So, um, I, I kind of went, you know, it, it does and, and I've heard everyone say it makes sense, but it kind of really does. It, there's, there's no way around it. <laughs> it, um, it kind of just works. And if you, you read the things about it and you hear the stories, um, you know, it, it really is. It, it just, it's just a great product. And, I mean, I was coming from a fitness side of things. I was doing a lot of triathlons and marathons at the time as well. Um, so in the first six months when I was taking Juice Plus, um, I was hitting PBs. I was... Um, went to Everest Base Camp, did um, Kokoda Challenge, and two weeks after that, or, or two weeks before that, I did a half marathon and did a massive PB. So the product was working for me. And at the same time, I was introduced to the, and through Candy as well, was introduced to the, um, uh, to the company. And again, it was, it, it, it all just made sense. I could see a bit of a future for us, you know, at, and at the time I was in a corporate job, um, you know, I was, I was working big hours, um, I was living on site and, um, you know, I was getting woken up at two o'clock in the morning, going to, going to call outs and, you know, the, it was just really, it was, it was crap. It just turned into crap a bit. Um, so I left that job and all of a sudden, you know, we were back to scratching for, for um, you know, for meals and, you know, where are we going to pay for this and where are we going to pay for that? And we went from, from this to that. So, for me at that time, you know, when, when the Juice Plus company was there and, and Candy started doing the business, I had this vision for it and I, and I thought, you know, let's just build this team and, and this really, really could be something for us, you know, and, and it was that, um, you know, hearing some of, some of the, um, the upline talk about, you know, that what if, we really did think about that what if and dreamed about it. So, um, yeah, look, you know, get into it. Just give it a give it a go, and um, you know, who knows where it can go? It's just it's just what if. So, thanks, Candy, and everyone. Awesome. Have a good, night. <laughs> good work. I can feel your nerves right here. Bloody legend, right? Awesome. Round of applause. Not a Zoom virgin anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm going to hand it over, and it is true. You know, you. you Sometimes it's really hard to, sh to share your struggles right in life because we have to have this facade of everything's perfect and we all know behind closed doors it's not, right? Um, and this is what I love about our mission is because we get to help unravel that and take away the mask and really dig deep to help individual families, households, people to live their greatest life. And I got to do that with one of my beautiful friends who I'm going to hand over to now, Donna. Um, it's been amazing to watch her journey, her family's journey with her beautiful girls. So if you can share your story tonight, darling, that would be phenomenal. Thank you, Candy. Hi, everybody. How are you going? Um, yeah, my name's Donna. I'm a single mum of three. Um, four years ago when I suddenly found myself in a position of being separated, totally blindsided. Um, so there was the divorce part and that threw me into a world of debt. Um, I ended up having responsibility of the house, three kids, all that pretty much on my own, um, which was was and can still be overwhelming. So um, they're all nearly almost teens now, so they're 10, 13 and 16, and I did my very best to get enough fruit and veggies into them, but I knew I wasn't always doing a good job and health and nutrition was really important to me because I knew that it, I, I knew just how much we needed it, but I couldn't always get that much into them. I'm on a, on a super strict budget, I work, but I'm you know raising three kids on my own, so 
money was a real issue. So when um, Candy um, I said, what are you doing with all these salad in a jar things? Can you come up and show me? I need every bit of help I can get. She came up from the Gold Coast. I really had no idea. I knew, I knew about Juice Plus, but it took me two years to really ask her and really think about it. So I just thought I couldn't afford it. Um, you know, but now what I realised then is I made it a priority to take it out of money out of my grocery budget each week. And that, you know, and that's just how I do it. I can't spend this much money at Woolies. But, you know, the, the bit that I spend on Juice Plus, I spend that at Woolies. It's gone in a few days. Who knows what nutrition is in it? Not much. Um, and now, and, and the company make it affordable so I can get my kids to eat for free. My mum's involved. She had alopecia and um, her hair's growing back beautifully. My energy was, and I just thought that was how it was, and I have to accept that, that that was my life. But after about four or five months, my energy's just gone through the roof, and um, yeah, I've got so much energy now. I feel like one of the teenagers myself. The girls' hair, skin, nails, beautiful, clear skin for teenagers. Um, and they just, our palettes have all changed. So products, we all know, we've all just spoke about products, but from a financial perspective, I didn't have a plan B. I was just, just struggling to keep my head above water. And every month when the check comes in, it's growing every month. Biggest one this month, yay, just ran out. Um, it's exciting. And, um, you know, it just pays for something. Today, Destiny's, oh, this week, Destiny's going to get a driver's license. It's like 200 bucks. That's a lot of money. So I like it. I've got it now. I've been paid. I've got it. It's, it's just awesome. And other than all that, the health, the money, um, I never thought I could get, afford to have my products covered. They're covered and some now. But it's more the community, the friendships, the support. Just hopping on a call is just my way to fill up my cup every night, um, every, every time I'm on a call. And I just love, uh, you know, if we, were, if we were talking about Vegemite sandwiches and that was the product, I'd be thrilled because I'd be in it because this is just the fun part of just being around everybody, which is what I love. So, um, yeah, so if you, if you know you think that this might be on your radar, check it out for more because it's it's so much fun. We just, yeah, it's a business, but we just have fun all the time. So, yeah, get into it. Have a look. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, darling. And you know what? You um, Just watching watching how you guys have come along and you're stepping into your own um, from where you were to now, it's just phenomenal um, and really, really exciting, actually. And, uh, you know, we can have all the excuses under the um, but um, you know, it's just saying what if, what if, and asking, you know, what if for everyone else. Um, so thank you, darling. I'm going to hand it over to the beautiful Beck uh, McCallum to share her story. Um, I know we're going a bit over time, guys, but these two, I've got two more stories to share uh, before we finish this call, and it, it definitely uh, is worth worth waiting. So hang on, hang, hand it over to you, Beck. Hi everyone, um, I'm Beck. I've been in the business three years now. There's many stories I can share, but Candy's asked to share uh, my traditional business versus network marketing story. So uh, when my son was born, uh, my family's from the, it's in the UK and um, Kane's family were in Sydney and I'm in Queensland. And so we didn't really have any family support. Tried going back to work, didn't really work. And uh, over a barbecue, a friend and I came up with the most amazing business idea. So we went to the bank, got a business loan. Um, it was the first business in Australia, first of its kind in Australia. It was a children's party hire business, but there was nothing quite like it. Um, got bookings, business was growing. But the thing was, we were exchanging time for money still. And even worse, you know, I remember my child, um, it was Joshua's third birthday, I think. And I had a booking on, in Ipswich and she begged me and she begged me. So I drove, you know, the day before so that I could say yes to this booking, drove like two and a half hours to set up this party two and a half hours back, you know, because I didn't want to say no to work because, you know, what if that was a referral that was going to get me more business or, you know, what if she went somewhere else? What if she, you know, there was just all of these things. So we didn't ever want to say no to people. Um, some of our busiest times were over Christmas and then the twins came along. And so, my husband and I, um, on the days that we did the parties, because we, altern we alternated with my business partner, we were rocking up to parties with twins, newborn twins, and a toddler, <laughs> two-year-old. And it wasn't fun, and it was really stressful, and it often caused arguments. And, you know, you pretty much walk away at the end of the week with $50. And um, what had seemed like such a beautiful idea 
in um, theory ended up not being such an amazing idea in reality. And whilst the business won lots of awards and, you know, everybody knew us in the sort of in, in the children's entertainment industry, it, um, it was never going to pay us, not until we invested lots more money. And even then it was such a gamble. You know, we were going to have to franchise, which was going to cost us hundreds of thousands to set up properly. We were going to have to get lawyers. We were going to have to... <laughs> Sorry. Um... <laughs> My dog. And, um, you know, mm -hmm. it ended up just being... Um, it, it just was, it was just a huge amount of money for, at the time, such little investment. So um, I got introduced to Juice Plus, uh, to be honest with you. I had done network marketing before and I said, no, mm -hmm. no way, never. Don't even show it to me. I don't want to have a look. Um, but the person that introduced me to it originally um, was a very trusted friend of mine. So I said that I would take a look because um, I trusted her. And um, the product kind of made sense to me. Um, I was very skeptical, uh, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to give the product a go anyway, because I was feeling really blur at the time. That's the only way I can describe it. Within a couple of weeks of taking the products, I felt, I felt really energized. I even remember saying to my husband, because we both got on it and he was even more skeptical than me. And I was like, do you suddenly feel like, I don't know, mm -hmm. like you just had like a Red Bull or something. <laughs> we were just like, woo! And so we kind of both went, well, this product obviously has, and I don't even drink Red Bull, just um, health industry, I don't drink Red Bull, I promise. But um, I just instantly felt energized. And so I decided to jump on the business at the same time. Um, three years later, I can honestly say that I haven't looked back. I, I just had six weeks going to the UK and then we were on a cruise in the Pacific and I did nothing in my business for six weeks and my business grew. Um, if I'd done nothing in Tumbling Tigers, my business would probably have gone bankrupt because I wouldn't have been able to have paid the bills. So, um, yeah, it, it's, um, it's incredible what this business can do for you. So, um, and the tables and the opportunities there. Oh, thank you so much, Beck. And, you know, I'm sure everyone on this call right now can think of so many people, if not yourself, but so many people who are in their jobs and you're just killing yourself. You're killing yourself for that paycheck, which just keeps you just over broke, right? And we're still pulling our hair out, trying to understand how we're going to make ends meet or how we're going to get even further in life. And this is where this opportunity just fits beautifully and seamlessly into creating another income stream. That's it. It can be a big income stream or it can be a little income stream. It really is every individual's choice. Um, so that really brings me to my next speaker, my last speaker for tonight, uh, which is a beautiful Karen. Um, you know, I remember sitting, uh, sitting down and chatting and I'd never, I'd known Karen for quite some time and I really didn't know her pain and I really didn't know her story uh, of, of why. And, um, and she's been so, so beautiful to actually be vulnerable with us tonight and share it because I know it's a difficult one for you, darling. So please, um, thank you so much for being on the call tonight, That's darling. That's all right. Thank you so much for having me. Sorry, it's a bit dark in this room. I didn't realise how dark it was, but hopefully you can see me. I'm not this tanned. Um, hi, guys. My name's Karen. Thanks so much for having me on tonight. Um, Candy came into my life yeah, about three years ago, and I'm very, very blessed to call her a beautiful friend, as well as many, many other faces that are on the calls tonight. But a little bit, my, a little bit about my story. So three years, uh, sorry, um, four years ago, actually yesterday, <laughs> I became a mum for the very first time. And um, when I became a mum, you know, my whole world just completely changed. I'd been working corporate and I was on um, maternity leave. And um, yeah, I just, you know, I had this gorgeous little man and at the time, I wasn't looking for work or anything like that because, like I said, I was on mat leave. So it was more about the products. Um, I was a breastfeeding mama, so obviously I needed to be quite careful about what I was putting into my body. I had a 10-pound baby boy, so he was a big feeding boy. So I really felt like I, I was really struggling trying to keep up with the calories and be able to produce the milk. 
that I needed for him as well. So um, I went looking for something that I could take that was natural and came across Juice Plus. Didn't need to do too much research because it completely made sense to me. As long as I could take it, it was a whole food product and I could take it, it you know, was going to be safe for my little man. So needless to say, I got started on the product. The things that I started to notice for myself was my energy went completely through the roof. So I'd gone from having a six-month-old baby boy and the other mum is on the call completely know this. Every time that little boy went down for a sleep, I went down for a sleep. And I was like, God, this is crap. I'm not getting anything else done in the house, right? How do you survive? Here I was thinking I was going to have this completely organized house. I'm going to be the most amazing housewife and blah, 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 blah. But no, I was exhausted all the time with a six-month-old. So Juice Plus really changed my world. I really started to get this incredible energy. And my hair started to grow again my skin really started to glow and I started to sleep much better. So even though I was waking during the night still to feed my little man, I was I was getting into a deep sleep. I actually started to dream again. So I was waking so rushed. And then the, I suppose, one of the major pieces out of all this was that my... Um, little man was also getting this goodness into his body as well. So I had a very, um, what shall I say, blissful time with his health up until this point of four years of age, which I know not many parents can say that about their children. He's just, he's just been so strong, um, even though his little friends around him have got those horrible green sunny noses and what have you from kindy he has just been so blessed to have such a strong immunity and um, eat everything you know he's not fussy eater he's pretty much vegetarian his choice that's just what he chooses to eat um, and yeah he's just absolutely thriving now in between that time I now have a 21 month old baby girl so having her meant that um, I got to grow her I like to say on plus so that meant that I didn't take any supplements I didn't take any artificial products I took only juice plus through the whole pregnancy if I look at pregnancies if I think about how I was with car and how I was with Keone look I can't even compare my energy levels again with that second pregnancy were just unbelievable I did not nap at all with that second pregnancy yes I had a little one but he slept for three hours a day so I could have easily slept but in fact I had so much I actually grew a business with juice plus but I'll talk about that in a second the other thing was at about 34 weeks, I flew all the way to Nashville for about four days for a conference for Juice Plus pregnant. So I was heavily pregnant. My energy was unbelievable. Um, and then not only that, the birth was incredible. I had two natural births. They were both um, amazing births um, that were video and um, were just quite serene, really. It's very hard to explain, but I was, again, blessed with that. Um, but the the post of both of them, they're both really big babies, about the same size. And with Keone, after my second, I actually felt like I could have run a marathon the next day. It was insane, honestly, comparing. My milk came in straight away. The midwives were like, what are you on, girlfriend? This stuff's amazing. You could feed all the babies in the ward. Um, it was just amazing. And honestly, my again, my energy was just through the roof. So the product, honestly, if you're not on it, you've got to get on it. It's not just about babies and feeding babies and all of that. It's just about having that vitality within your body. And if you are a mama, it just gives you that vitality to be able to keep up with the kids, right? So, and we need that. And I'm 43 years of age too, so I'm not a young mama. And, um, you know, and I think that's really important too because not only do I need the energy to be able to keep up, but the other thing is that... Um, I want to be here. I want to see my babies grow and I want to see my babies have children, you know. So I really need to look after myself to make sure that I'm around and that's really important to me too. So on to the business, onto our mission, and this just lights me up. Um, at the time, like I said, I was on maternity leave so I wasn't actually looking for anything. I was going back to corporate as far as I was aware. That was, you know, that's what I was doing. But having a baby, as every mama knows, it completely changes your world. And for me, when I looked at him at six months of, of age and had to start considering about going back to work, I was like, I just do not want to leave this kid. I don't. Some mummies are like, oh, I just get me out of the house and all this sort of stuff. I just want to get back to talking to, um, you know, adults. But for me, I just didn't want to do that. But the sad part of that story was, and the reality check of it was, is that this is where it gets a little bit hard to talk about, but I'll take a deep breath. Um, 
about nine years prior to having my little man, I, um, I was, well, I had a, had a boyfriend at the time, but I was, um, I had a job and was earning some seriously good coin at the time. And, um, I was looking at doing some investments and my financial planner and my accountant at the time, um, had spoken to me about doing this particular investment. And we were sort of talking about what my future looked like and what I wanted in my world and all this sort of stuff. And even though I had a boyfriend, I knew he wasn't going to be the one. He wasn't, he wasn't daddy material. He didn't want to have kids. Um, but I, um, I really wanted to have kids and I'd always wanted to have kids now. So I was about, yeah, I was, what was I, about 33, something like that, I think, three, 33, 34. And, um, I said to them, look, I really want to have family, but what I don't want to do is, um, be a broke mama. I want to be able to stay at home and I want to be able to enjoy my kids. So anyway, long story short, we ended up um, making this investment. Now, I fast forward that story a bit more. I then met my husband and the investment actually went belly up. So it went through the high courts and there was a whole heap of commotion around this. And it wasn't only me, it was thousands and thousands of people that had invested in this particular company as well. And um, so here I was having my first baby and um, it was looking like I may potentially have to go bankrupt because I was going to end up with a huge debt with this particular investment. And it was either that or I was going to have to go back to work and pay this ridiculous amount of money back for something that I never, ever got anything from, if that kind of makes sense. So... For me, this opportunity landed in my lap in the most amazing time. One of the things that I really wanted to do was to be that stay-at-home mama. So I said to my husband, even though I had a corporate job, like I said, to go back to, I was on maternity leave. Some of that was actually paid for by a corporate. Um, I said to my husband, give me six months to give this business a go and see if I can make a go of it. And within that six months, it was just nuts, like what I was able to achieve in that six months. And then obviously I another baby um and um, this has completely changed our lives you know I'm now I've been to have my second child be step back a little bit from business continue to grow and I've been able to be that mum that I wanted to be for the first 12 months of my daughter's life giving her exactly the same as what I had given to my son as well which is really really important to me and um all the time that business is just continuing to grow and the most important part about this is that I know that at the end of the day that, you know, I'm contributing to my family and that's really, really important to me as well. I know and I, I see so many other mums out there that really struggle with this whole financial thing, wanting to be a mum, but they're not feeling like they're contributing. And I just see this as the most amazing opportunity to be able to share with other women, other mamas not necessarily having to had that financial hardship that I've had to go through, but that are passionate about being with their children and watching them grow. I've seen my kids do everything, all their milestones, and still today I see every little thing and I'm so, so blessed for this incredible opportunity. So, Candy, thank you so very much for letting me share and everybody for listening. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Um, it's been such a – I know we've gone over time, guys, and I do apologise, but, you know, I think we need to – see this massive um, community of people and we've all come into this from a different angle from a different reason but as we said tonight you know the six d's that are out there that we're dealing with every day the world is dealing with every day between disease between debt between divorce you know disabilities we've heard about epilepsy and things that stop you from working or getting sick and stopping you from working you know we've got also disasters too whether it's been natural disasters out there these days or disasters in business um you know where you're investing business partners like my father you know or sadly death you know you just never know you could have a partner one day and they could be gone and they you know how does that rock your world? So this is an amazing mission. We're always looking for more inspired people to join us. Uh, if the product or the opportunity makes sense, I highly recommend just going back to the person who invited you. You got invited because someone cared enough about you and thought, what if? What if this could be something for them? And what if that could change their lives? So thank you all so much for jumping on tonight. I know it's late for my new Southies as well. Thank you to all the amazing speakers. You know, it takes a lot of guts to get up here and share your vulnerable stories on here. And that's what I love about our community because we get to show up and just be ourselves. So thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. And have a beautiful night. And we'll see you 
all in a Zoom very soon. Peace out, guys.